Welcome to another part of Jack X. This time we are going forward with the Green Eco Cup circuit race here at Frozen Speedway. <laughs> it's neat. I don't have that much else to say about it. It's just better neat. I'm just gonna pull up that to fucking keep flying away from me the mic. Okay, let's begin. So you all know about Frozen Speedway. It's a short track. And as you can see, it's five laps. Now, I wanted to get an achievement out of the way here by getting through this without dying. Here comes a screamer. I didn't do that. Because as you can tell, I'm first. Yeah, it's not going to end well for me. It's very obviously not going to end well for me. See? I mean, anything could have happened. The rockets could have happened. The fucking, you know, I got no! fucked by the rockets again. One lap finish. But yeah, anything could have happened. I could have gone fucking blue shelled even. I had right there. I got that guy now. Oh, now that was just power. Take that, Ashlyn. But yeah, I can't really make that one work out in my favor. Also, I got screwed. So, yeah, um. Even though this is a short track, I can't really make this one work in my favor. So, I die a lot. The track does get in the way, unfortunately. Now. As for the circuit for this one, it's fine. I mean, it's repetitive as fuck. It's five laps of the same area. It does get kind of hectic, to be honest, but at the same time, it's not that big a thing. So, I quickly get through this of no problem at all. And yeah, I don't have much else to say about this one, considering it's a circuit race. And as we all know, circuit races are boring. Fire in the hole. And yeah, I got ah. fucked. But not by the fire, but by down. sick throwing a grenade at me. That's an interesting thing, that when it comes to actually finding the grenade yourself, it's a pain in the ass, but the AI is just rather better than you at shooting the grenades. They have much more of a direct accuracy with the grenades compared to you. And yeah, I do make it through and win. And that's it. So, now that's taken care of, we can now move on. Let's check all the stats. Get it out of the way. And let's continue on. Something about this whole setup doesn't seem right. We're missing something important. But at least we're winning races. That's good. Good? Listen, Rain Baby. We've been chased, attacked, shot at, poisoned, and blown up. How could it get any worse? Hello, Ankle Biters. It's worse. That show pony, G Wiz Blitz, told me I could find you here. Listen up, Yabbers. You embarrassed me on the track before, but this time I aim to even the score. Dude, that was so last adventure. Available in stores now. I've been waiting a long time to teach you short puppies a lesson. I'll see you on the track, nippers. Yep, Cleaver's back. And that's not the only thing that's back. That's not the only thing that's new, really. We have a new vehicle. You haven't gone that far in, but hey, new vehicle. And it's a speed vehicle. We have the fire bat. We also have another bit of a part, and of course you have Cleaver. This wasteland is gonna waste you! This big brute from the wasteland knows how to push his weight around on the track, and he's known for his use of dirty tricks to squash anyone who gets in his way. We got Cleaver now. And he's about as dickish as you'd expect Cleaver to be. Let's go for this one next. Another race through the bush. The jungle here can get tight, so watch your lines. 
Don't forget to use a weapon when you have it. If you hesitate, you'll miss chances. You use it or lose it, I say. Show me how it's done. Might as well get out of the way of our new vehicle, the Firebat, which is an improvement. All new vehicles are an improvement. Uh, it's just that this one isn't that much of a big improvement. Now, the fire bat is interesting. To make it, you know, understandable, the fire bat is interesting in the fact that because it's in this kind of design of like being a buggy vehicle, it it has a bigger problem on being floaty. It has a bigger problem on being stable. And when this game is so fucked on PS4, this vehicle suffers hard. But it is better, so I have to use it. I'm also going to go ahead and maybe give it a bit of the same kind of color scheme as the uh, Halo Warthog, maybe. It is kind of similar to the Warthog. From that game so I might as well they'll do some you know differences to it you know my own personal preference on that but uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and just you know begin this shit where I'm going to be struggling a little bit because Forbidden Forest is already kind of fucked and the fire bat just makes it even more fucked are you ready for some action not really, dude, but we'll go for it. So, two laps. Let's do this. Get that immediate boost going. Starts off fine. My nose, however, our turn isn't too great. And I'm already getting fucked by Cleaver. Cleaver's already, already fucking me. He's already going all the way out to fuck me. Bastard. But you can tell, even when I'm doing the sliding to make my turns better, I can't control it. And I couldn't control my fucking steering there, and I went to a wall. I couldn't... I could not get away from that. Welcome to the fire bat. Welcome to one of the buggy design vehicles where they are actually made to be less weighty. I'm gonna put this down and like lay down and basically like explain to you as best I can what I mean when I say wait. Obviously it should it should be fucking obvious why I say that, but for anyone that's not getting it, it's not that weighty because it's very light. It's a light weighted vehicle. And it really is. It's not that strong. It has a lot of armor to it, but it's not that strong in the fact that it has a lot to it. It's a small vehicle. It's one of the small vehicles in the game, in fact. And because of that, it doesn't have that much of a weight distribution to it. This means that it has the tendency to be more aerodynamic in a sense, in that it can jump a bit more better. It can be in the air better. And that's neat. But it's not helpful. And in the original PS4, in the original PS2 release, um, it was essentially just like fine. It was a bit of a pain in the ass, honestly, to ride this thing. But you could handle it still. You just had to deal with the fucking floatiness, which, by the way, the floatiness of this was originally the floatiness of how every other vehicle is you know, right now on PS4, you know? When it came to how floaty the original Firebat was, it was on par to all the other vehicles we just drove beforehand on their floatiness. It had some issues. It would, you know, veer off pretty far, but it was still straight enough to not be a fucking problem. There was still enough to it where it wouldn't lose its shit like when it goes off the ground. Not the case here with this one. Because now we have the addition of that bullshit, couple of the fire bats issues. And you end up getting one of the floatiest vehicles in the fucking game times two. 
Steering becomes a problem because it will either, when you're boosting, uh, be way too stiff, or when you're not boosting, or start to boost, be way too loose, and you start lose control very easily. What's worse is whenever you bump anything, whenever you just fucking jump, you have very little control over where you're jumping, over how far you're jumping, over your speed. It, it's just really fucked, and the fire bat is really going to showcase itself on how much problem it's going to be throughout the rest of this game, throughout the rest of this cup, really. I'm not going to be happy about it. But we gotta deal with it. So, there you go. Hey, Another part for us. Alright, time for the next Show race. Oh wait, can run. run. Move to the groove of the canyon and keep your trigger finger itchy or you'll be roadkill for sure. Alright then. Let's go ahead and do this one. This is a hunt, Jack. The object of this event is to take out as many nasty creatures as you can. The racer with the highest kills at the end wins. Go get him! Well, as we can get away from the fucking fire bat for now and go into something, you know, more heavy, like the hammerhead. I'm gonna go ahead and give it its new parts, if I can find any. So, uh, yeah. Sport hunts. You already about sport hunts? We've already did it before, you know, but the last time we did it on like vehicles Not so much this time There's the wheels by the way uh, This time we are actually going to be hunting actual game So we got to go around we have four minutes, but we have no limit. We didn't have a limit beforehand either, I don't think, the last Sport Hunt. So, Sport Hunt is just, you know, get the most. But yeah, our enemies now are these lizards that just run around, and that's it. They're basic. Also, the fence is still shit, but they're basic. And you can run them over to kill them instantly. You can shoot them down. They don't have that much health on them. The biggest problem, obviously, is actually getting the kills. The best way of doing this is to make sure you actually get good, good weapons, honestly. Which, uh, don't come very often. The good weapons are sort of iffy. What's worse is the actual creatures okay, themselves, because actually getting to them is a pain in the ass. You might get lucky and they might just run into you, but for the most part, they all run in a certain weird path that you can't really tell of them. There's so many of them too, that it's a bit hard to actually, you know, fucking find them. So you kind of have to rely on your missiles for the most part. But again, the game likes to give you shit like grenades, and the grenades do not help you in this one. They really don't. They're not that useful here. So, yeah, if you get grenades, get rid of them immediately. They're not, they're not going to help you out. They have the tendency to just miss very easily, just arcing over. And also... These fuckers run fast. The vehicles in the last sport hunt were fairly slow in a sense, in that you could catch up to them no problem. That's not the case of these fuckers. With our game here, they're much faster, and they're not gonna wait up for you. You know, they're not gonna slow down for you. They're gonna run right next to you, even. They don't give a fuck. They won't attack back, but they're definitely going to be hard to hit. I luckily got lucky in that I actually got the kills I needed, which is about 10. As long as you get to about 10, 15, you'll be fine.
And honestly, it's not that hard of a challenge. You have a lot of time for it too, so you'll get it done. It's just, it's going to require you to actually get, you know, some good shots going in. So yeah, um, that's the sport hunt here. It's fine. It's actually kind of neat. It can just be a little bit over cumbersome because of the fact that these guys are fast. And even though there's a lot of them, it's easy to miss them. They like to run around the outside area too. They don't really go for the middle area until a good bit later. But this middle area is probably one of the better spots to just camp in and start shooting at them from. So, you know, you don't have to chase them. You can just shoot at them. And, uh, yeah. Fairly basic, honestly. And with an amount of 15 kills, I have won. Cleaver has lost. He had 11. And we can move on now. We're moving on with a cutscene. Are you ready for it? It's interesting. You and the offsider care for a little bush bash? Over the city and through the jungle, so to speak. You know, I was having a good day until you showed up. We're always up for a little action. Good. A little warm-up for the big event, eh? Who knows? Maybe we can run over a few greenies while we're at it. After you. You'll always be after me. Who's paying you, Cleaver? You don't do anything for free. Yeah, Cleaver's got something planned. He's being paid to do something. He usually is. Over the hills and through the sea to the winner's circle you go. Make sure you adjust to the road or the road will adjust to you. So the outskirts are now ours. Let's go ahead and do another race, shall we? I guess another second race we'll do. Uh, do it in Haven City with the new one, to the outskirts. This is a cross-track race, Jack. You'll be touring through Haven City and the jungle on this one. The added complexity will require new strategies to keep ahead of the competition. Great speed will help, but then so will weapons. All right, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. City Outskirts is on the same fucking wavelength as the sewers. In that, on the PS4, it became much fucking worse. Now, there are no pipe areas, so you're not, like, having to, like, Gentlemen, ride up them and get stuck in them. But it has very tight corners. And there's not much room on the left and right side of you. And they light. basically want you to make very sharp cornerings. Now, in the original, not that much of a problem. Big fucking problem here is especially the fire bat. To be fair, though, it is a long track, so there's plenty of ample time to, you know, make up for all of the loss, but... Yeah, as you can tell, it's... it's gonna be a problem. There's a lot of bumps around here, and in the, between those bumps is turns, and you can't fucking turn when you get bumps in the air, so you gotta go right into a wall. No! It's... it's fucked. It's really really fucked and I get screwed over so easily on this track alone like I seriously don't have that much control over my steering I really don't I try very hard but just the slightest bump will cause me to go fucking everywhere no. and yeah the AI also doesn't help much they like to just bump me into walls and also, just the fucking respawn thing doesn't help me out much. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. And yeah, I, I didn't touch anything. The game just flipped me upwards and just... My wish is digging to nothing. It's... It's, it's bad. It's really bad. The PS4 version just fucked this game so hard. And City Outskirts is one level that suffered immensely because of it. And with the Fire Bat, it just... 
Oh, God. It, it just becomes a nightmare. It just becomes this fucking fight. And it even combines, like, I got lucky there. But yeah, it combines pretty much the fucking near end of, like, the last fight, the Forbidden Forest. As well as a little bit of the fucking beginning. But, the like, when it came to this shit, it's just like it's a pain in the ass to get around on because of all the bumps and shit. It just prevents you from getting good turns going on. It's it just... One last finish. There's so much about this fucking track that the PS4 version just before. makes it much worse. It's actually very shocking. Oh, very fucking shocking. And quite honestly, this city area is the worst part. There are so many bumps and so many sharp corners. It's just... It's fucking insane. How are you supposed to make it across a lot of this bullshit on the PS4 version without hitting any walls? You just fucking can't. It's so awkward that it's just not fun. And not only that, it's not even fair. Because the AI can get around this so much better than you can. Because the AI doesn't have the issues that you're having. It doesn't have the issues of the fuck turning and the slippery slotty bullshit and the lack of weight and all that that you currently have. That the PS4 version has given you. You know? The AI can make a turn pretty much almost perfectly while you're just getting fucked. It's a nightmare. And, you know, we're gonna see it again eventually, but... Man, I just... I hate it getting it for this track. And I don't think I'm alone on that one. I feel like a lot of people that played this version of the game at least, headed again through the city outskirts. It, it, it's just, it really reinforces how much this port just fucked this game. Well, hey, I made it through. So yeah, that's good news. Let's gonna move on now. So what exactly do we have next? What are we going to be doing next? Well, we're going to end this part by going to Spargus, and we're going to do a deathmatch arena. This is another frag fest, so keep your wheels rolling and your guns blazing. Don't let the cheap cherries get into position, and keep them guessing. Swoop in from above to rock their world. <laughs> I love this sport. We did a lot of crappy fucking races, so... Uh... Might as well have another fucking arena thing alongside the sport hunt we just did beforehand. Uh, you know, have a bit more fun of this. Desert Arena is fine. It's small, it's compact. It's very bumpy though. So it's, you know, it's very hilly. So it's not exactly the greatest track in the world, especially on the PS4 version, but it's fine. But yeah, it's gonna be very easy to get the points here. Just keep getting weapons, you'll usually get rockets. You'll kill a bunch of enemies in no time. And uh, yeah, that's about the gist of it. I'm not gonna get that much time for the ending either, so I'll just say it right off the bat that, you know, next time we'll be doing more of the Green Eco Cup. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting, I'll say that much. It's gonna get more interesting in this part because this part was just kind of a, uh, you know, a bit of a mellow part, you know? Just mainly races, getting them out of the way, and, you know, show another sport hunt, not a death match. But for the most part, nothing like the last part where it gave us a fucking qualifier immediately. You know, not many cutscenes. Oh, we got Cleaver, but, you know, it didn't really add too much to this. We already know that Cleaver's an asshole, so... Obviously, he's playing shit against us to fuck us over. Except, you know, it's this game, so... 
his AI is no different to anybody else's. And right now, he's not doing a good job so far. Edgy and me are the only people who have gotten any kills. There you go. Now Cleaver's got one. Congratulations, Cleaver. You killed one guy. I'm so proud of you. Meanwhile, Edgy has five, and I have fucking eight. So now I have no. I didn't get the kill. Someone else did. Fuck you for stealing my kill. I'm gonna kill you now. There, yeah, I got nine now. I'm gonna go ahead and get my last one from Edgy. And yeah, there you go. So that's it. Pretty fucking easy one, honestly. So, next time on Jack X, we're gonna be going ahead and doing more of the Green Eco Cup with, I believe, another race. I love this sport. Last year alone, racing brought in more cash than Crash City's entire yearly budget. Now that's big. Believe it or not, it can get even bigger. I mean, with the right imagination. I'd like to see laws passed forcing the sport to be shown on multiple channels. Maybe broadcasted in school for the kiddies. Seems like everyone's got a stake in this thing. Well, we certainly do. There's a ton of money swirling around this sport. And where there's money, there's crime. I think Crew's playing us, but against who? I don't know. So many questions. So many things going on. This batch of the Bone Sanctuary has no safe haven for the weak. Keep your enemies in the crosshairs, and your bones will litter the desert floor. Badland Sanctuary is now ours. However, next time we're going to be doing Canyon Run, so we'll be doing that on the next part. Hello, newbie. This is one of the most feared tracks. The turns are sharp, the blind corners are death, and the chances for mayhem are a ratings bonanza. Too bad. It means you're gonna have to take the pain. But if you can't get through this event, there's no tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.